The reasons how and why humans exist on Earth is still unclear. Our Earth is covered in mysterious asteroid and comet craters from billions of years ago. What could be the true origins of life on Earth, and what can strange species here tell us about our true origins? From uniquely preserved fossils that lead us to new insight, to the first vertebrates to walk on land, here are mysterious discoveries about the origins of life. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. Number 11, Earth's oldest fossil. Just in March of 2017, archaeologists believe they have found the oldest fossil ever, which would put the origins of life at 4.2 billion years ago off the coast of the Hudson Bay in Canada. Here in this photo, we see the fossil that was discovered. It only has a width of a human hair and is best seen under a microscope. Not only is this crucial for understanding our own history on planet Earth, but life possibly elsewhere? Some scientists hypothesize that this fossil, or the species of bacteria, could have actually came from Mars, believe it or not. During this time of billions of years ago, Mars was bombarded with comets and asteroids which would have sent rocks and debris from Mars into outer space and eventually onto Earth. Some of the debris with microorganisms might have landed on Earth and was possibly able to survive the 33.9 million mile journey. Mars at this time had a much stronger atmosphere and even oceans, so who knows how this fossil got here. It's also possible that hydrothermal vents were developing from impact craters, giving Earth's oceans more nutrients. The bacteria feast off iron oxidization, which means it could have feasted off the rocks during the journey. Number 10, Stromatolite Signs of Life. Many people are wondering exactly when life on Earth began. Scientists uncovered other primitive signs of life in southwestern Greenland in the Isua Greenstone Belt. Thanks to melting snow here, people were able to uncover 3.8 billion year old stromatolite fossils recently in August of 2016. This suggests that life was beginning to become more widespread around the world. Scientists used what's known as UPB zircon dating in order to come up with a plausible time period. Stromatolites are layered structures that form in shallow water from mud that was bound together by microorganisms. These fossils also had chemical signatures that were formed in the rock that proved the existence of life. These are found around the world and some believe there's also these on Mars as well. Number 9. Earth's Oldest Water Earth's oldest body of water was found in Canada and is believed to be over 2.7 billion years old. If the water was confirmed to be this old, you might imagine something could have possibly lived or swam in it. Is it possible that life could have been present here? Even though the oldest fossil in the world is over 4 billion years old, this water still plays a huge role in trying to understand the origins of life, especially since algae is believed to have only been around for 1.2 billion years. Due to isotope testing, scientists found bubbling water in mines and is deep beneath the Earth's crust. This contains water in the world's oldest swamps, rivers, lakes, and maybe some algae was once present, who knows. Scientists claim that the water was once as viscous as maple syrup and would have tasted awful. Number 8. Oldest Algae Fossils We might often think of human evolution, but what about plant evolution? According to a study at McGill University, the oldest algae fossils are a billion years old, which helps us understand about the process known as photosynthesis. Some bits of algae fossils were discovered in 1990, which could be the origin of all plants as we know them. If this study is correct, it would disprove many people's theories that during 1.8 billion to 0.8 billion years ago, not much was going on on Earth. Planet Earth would have been a very harsh apocalyptic environment at this time, with very little oxygen, and believed to have been typically lifeless. This was found on the Baffin Island from collecting different shale rocks. This photo here shows a 1,500 foot thick island coastal rock formation where it was found and you're looking at some of the oldest rocks in the planet. What's also interesting about this discovery is that it's now the oldest organism known to sexually reproduce and not use binary fission or mitosis. Number 7. Are worm relatives? As life began to get more complex with multiple cells working together, primitive species of worms began to develop known as nemertia or ribbon worms. Despite the chances of finding a fossilized one being slim to none, scientists in Japan in 2017 are beginning to believe that this strange species is not only one of the first multicellular organisms, but also that us humans might have more in common than these than you might think. After studying the genetics closely, they believe that at one point in time, about 550 million years ago, these worms began evolving into two different paths. One mutated nemertia diverted into becoming vertebrates such as birds, amphibians, reptiles, and humans. 
The other path included sea creatures that we know of today, such as starfish, sea urchin, earthworms, lobsters, and other organisms. They shared genes that are common with humans and other advanced multicellular organisms, and also responsible for creating the immune system, developing facial features, and for regulating internal heat. Even though it's not the prettiest looking thing on the planet, creatures like these are responsible for life forms becoming more advanced. Number 6. Trilobite Internal Organs Some of the more common fossils that paleontologists might come across include trilobites, whose existence date back to 500 million years ago. What's quite interesting about this organism is that it's the first type of fossil to show up in large quantities, proving that they were rather widespread across the globe. Scientists in China came across a well-preserved trilobite fossil, which allowed them to get a closer look of its digestive system. Typically, the exoskeleton is preserved quite well, but the discovery proved that they've had this unique feature among multicellular organisms longer than they had thought by at least 50 million years. It was basically just a tube that ran down the length of the trilobite's body. In this specimen, they didn't find two lateral digestive glands that were present in more recent trilobite fossils. This would indicate that their digestive system went through some drastic changes before they went extinct about 250 million years ago. Number 5. Walking Whales One way that we know that the Sahara Desert was once underwater was from uncovering giant fossils of lead whales. Dozens of rare fossilized whale bones were uncovered in the Egyptian Sahara Desert, and it seems to show that whales were once land mammals who had legs instead of fins. In order to protect the fossils, Egypt spent $2.17 billion to construct a museum, which is known as the Wadi al Hitan. They began calling this place the Valley of the Whales, and instead of ancient Egyptian tomb complexes, you'll find the sand-colored domes. This enormous creature is what's known as a Bacillosaurus, and they've been taking this site pretty seriously with even armed guards like you see here. It's been recently listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and an important link to evolutionary theories and climate change. Number 4. From Land to Water A recent discovery of a Vatosaurus was found in limestone quarries in Germany in 2017. This might give us more information about how sea creatures evolved. This reptile we see in the photo shows a skeleton discovered there, in an area that was once believed to be covered in water as well. While some creatures such as the Bacillosaurus began developing legs, this discovery seems to show that some evolved on land and then were best properly suited to become a sea creature, possibly due to poor vision and good swimming ability. With a triangular shaped head as you see in this photo, it has a similar skull structure as an eel or a whale. It also has larger limbs that were typical of land-dwelling creatures. This discovery also indicates that the Vatosaurus was an early cousin of the Pleurosaur. Scientists also learned that it would have swam through the water in a similar fashion as a sea snake and is similar to a modern-day Tuataris from New Zealand. Number 3. Rare Human Fossil Is it possible that the first humans first inhabited the Anamite Mountains in Laos and not Africa like many of us once thought? Scientists are pondering the possibility after a rare find. The skull remains are carbon dated before 46,000 and 63,000 years BC. This discovery could possibly rewrite the history books, pushing the clock back 20,000 years ago when humans began walking in Southeast Asia. This find doesn't support the out of Africa theory, which states that all human origins came from one area and slowly spread across the world. Scientists debate that the humans were able to make a swift migration with plenty of food through a favorable climate. Number 2. First Vertebrates on Land Mudskippers are quite strange creatures who have the ability to live both on land and in water. Unlike most fish, the mudskippers display quite a few qualities of both aquatic fish and amphibians. Scientists actually call it a fish out of water. Some people claim that mudskippers are proof of evolution and that the fish can survive outside of water with legs. They can live in mangrove forests which are found throughout the Indian Ocean. They can also breathe through their skin like amphibians and have a type of chamber in their mouth that stores water which provides the gills with water. Animals such as this also provide how life was able to exit oceans and thrive on land about 385 million years ago. It's believed that at this time, the fish were beginning to see other invertebrates which they could have hunted. You can tell that the mudskippers have very overwhelming eyes and it may have helped them find creatures to eat. The creatures that make it out of water had a good sense of vision for spotting. Research seems to indicate that that's why they went on land, and not just because they had limbs. And number one, origins of mammals. Surviving in a prehistoric world on land wouldn't prove to be an easy task. A 190 million year old fossil was found of a shrew-like creature with lots of fur. Found in northeastern China, one of the first mammals to walk on land was known as the Juramea. This discovery provided new insight into the origins of mammals and where they might have came from. The Chinese scientist Uo basically claimed that this is a great-grand-aunt or a great-grandmother of all placental mammals. 
This outdated any mammal fossil discovery and also closed the gap in mammal history. It's believed that the first mammals proved to be very successful tree climbers and they could have hid from aggressive animals up there. Before, it wasn't very clear what the origin of the species was, which now indicates it migrated from East Asia all the way into Europe. What else might we discover someday that will lead us to the definitive answer of our true origins?